Dahlia, it's, I just want to follow up. It's such a good point. And I mean, I've spent the I've spent six years reading everything smart that Tim Snyder and Ruth and everyone has written about autocracy. And we knew that, that despair and hopelessness was a tool for the autocrat, was a tool for the anti-democratic forces. And yet it, it felt inescapable at points over the Trump presidency in the four years when Trumpism sort of refused to go away. And, and we still have him. I mean, he's, he's, he's still around. He just had his convention. He's, he's pretty close in the polls to Vice President Harris. But there is some renewed hope, both in her candidacy and, and President Biden's sort of unrelenting focus now on something that he spent a lifetime in public service um, thinking wasn't necessary, and that's court reform. And, and I wonder whether the, the folks on, on the other side of that debate understand um, how serious this president is about it. I mean, I guess the one thing I would say is I keep looking at Project 2025 as a marker of how seriously they're taking this because, and I think this is also really important and we alighted it at the end of the term, but in many, many ways, a lot of the prongs, the essential prongs of Project 2025 that we're saying like, oh, that we don't want that to come into effect. And if Donald Trump wins the White House, we're going to see all these things happen. I think it's really worth saying out loud and unequivocally every one of the sort of major prongs of Project 2025 have been enacted in one way or another this term, this last term at the court. And so whether it's, you know, massive executive power, we saw that in the immunity decision, whether it's the end of the regulatory state, we saw that in the Chevron, Chevron overturn, or whether it's kind of the rise of this like very, very archaic Christian right notion of family and purity and, you know, who gets to get married and who gets to have kids, that too is, you know, everywhere at the Supreme Court. And so I think it's really useful to connect Project 2025 to what's already happened at the Supreme Court, whether or not uh, Kamala Harris wins. And then I think it's worth really saying, if in fact that is the juggernaut and it's coming from the court, what are we going to do about it? The fact that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are running away from Project 2025 tells you how much it really doesn't pull well, and it tells you how much I think this is an opportunity to use it to say, this is already coming, it's already happened, and it's happening at the court. Gabe, um, Fix the Court tweeted this today.